the whole Baldwin clan need to go. That's what Selgo fans are saying over the whole Mean Girl controversy. The issue is heated up to a point where everyone involved, like Kendall Jenner and Hailey Bieber, had to speak up on the whole issue. There's so much drama that you just can't imagine. So what do you think? Did the Mean Girls actually apologize? Will the Baldwin clan stop creating such controversies? Did Selena actually say anything about the whole issue? What did Haley say? Stay tuned for all the gossip on the whole controversy. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. The whole controversy is about this video, wherein the three amigos, Haley, Kendall, and Skye, are supposedly taking a dig at Selgo, and sort of justifying the whole body shaming incident that took place after her vacation pictures went viral, and saying that she sort of deserved the whole thing. That's mean indeed. Here's some context for you if you missed that part of the gossip. A few days ago, Selena went on vacation to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and made headlines when a popular pop culture Twitter account called at PopBase posted pictures from her vacation. The pictures featured Selgo slaying in a black bikini, and the Twitter account captioned it, Selena Gomez looks gorgeous as she poses for paparazzi in Cabo. But seemingly that wasn't enough for trolls, and they did what they had to do, and they were very bitter about it. One person wrote, she's gotta lose some weight. She looking tubby. Another one seconded that and said, oh, she's huge. And another one gave a suggestion to the pop star. She needs to hit the gym instead of being obsessed over pretty models. Well, coming over to the topic, fans have been speculating that Kendall, Haley, and Skye did it on purpose to send a message to Selgo that she sort of deserved the whole body shaming thing. You must be thinking, it's just fan speculation, right? It's not just speculation. Fans have been trolling both Haley and Kendall for shading Selgo and for being super mean to her. About the whole drama, here's why it's happening. A TikTok video was shared to Haley's TikTok profile and was later on deleted. A TikTok user, at Riri's T, re-uploaded the deleted video and asked followers to weigh in and speak their minds on the whole thing, if they thought that it had just been an innocent clip, or if Kendall, Haley, and Skye were sending a message to someone. And the final verdict? Well, most fans thought the whole thing is just too shady. If there wasn't anything wrong and intentional, why bother deleting the thing? One fan wrote, This sound hasn't trended since, like, last year. Deaf intentional. One person wrote, Another one seconded the comment by saying, No one uses this sound without reason. People started trolling Kendall and Haley for the whole incident and were really harsh about it. One fan wrote, I feel Kendall is the type of girl that would laugh with her friends at you for breathing. Another one added, Kendall and Haley seem like mean girls who tell people they're not mean. This whole thing reached a point where Haley and the girls had to comment on the whole thing. Haley commented on Riri's T's video and said, I never comment on this type of thing, but we were just having a girls' night and did a random TikTok sound for fun. It's not directed at anyone. Dude, she is seriously so naive. She commented on the whole thing like, why? When you know that there's so much wrong floating against you, you don't give them yet another reason to add to the list. It's Selgo, Haley. Obviously, things are going to heat up. And when you know your history and the way things have been in the past, this is the dumbest thing you could do at this moment. Just a few months back, Haley, in conversation with Alexander Cooper, said, I respect her. There's no drama personally. That's why I'm like, it's all respect. It's all love. That's also why I feel like if everybody on our side knows what happened and we're good, and we can walk away from it with clarity and respect, then, like, that's fine. She then explained how the three, Haley, Justin, and Selena of them, talked about their relationships, and it brought a clear understanding from all sides, saying it gave her a lot of peace and that the three of them know what happened. It is what it is. You're never going to be able to correct every narrative, and there's going to be new ones that come. It's never going to end. And that's why I get to the point. That's why I didn't speak about a lot of this stuff. Fans have always trolled Haley, but she couldn't get a hold of them, and Selgo was always able to tackle her haters. Previously, it was alleged that Haley asked Selgo for help on all the trolling that had been happening, where she was being termed as the villain in the threesome. Rumor has it that she literally begged Selena to ask her fans to stop all the hatred against her. With all the seeking help and everything, how can she act all sassy and revengeful in the TikTok video? Heights of being a two-faced person? Seriously? Anyway, Kendall had already been playing the victim card on Hulu's The Kardashians. When asked what hurts Kendall the most, she said, I think the one that I guess hurts the most is that people think I'm a mean girl, because that's just not the case. It can be upsetting when someone is questioning your character, and if only, like, people knew me. Somewhere in the episode, she also mentioned, Like, I could be walking down the street doing absolutely nothing, and somebody always has something bad to say. 
Aw, poor Kendall. Everyone gets mad at her for no reason, right? If all of this drama wasn't enough for fans, Selgo had to intervene, and she also added more fuel to the drama by saying, It's okay. I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. You saw what she did there. She never denied the rumors and the fan theories, but through subtle hints, just clarified that she is strong and doesn't get bothered by any of these tricks. And she's really clever to have left her subtle hints for fans and then sidelined the whole issue with her be nice to everyone. Clever, Selgo. We don't know about the others, but we sure smelled revenge in that comment. Selgo knows that her fans aren't going to stop trolling anytime soon, and so she just added some fuel to the whole controversy by not denying the rumors that the video was targeted at her. It's okay for her, and she knows that fans won't let it be okay for any of the stars in that TikTok video. We wonder if this feud has more to spill. If Haley and Kendall will comment back on Selena's comment. Will Selena speak up on the whole mean girl narrative again? Stay tuned for all these updates, and we'll shortly come back to you.